Playoff football returns to Lake Orion tonight with a familiar foe. The Clarkston Wolves come in to take on the Lake Orion Dragons. We've got it all for you on the NFHS streaming service in conjunction with Orion Neighborhood Television. Pre-game is underwritten by Sarah Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Lake Orion, part of the Sarah Automotive family, offering new and used vehicle sales, service on all makes, parts, accessories, and a state-of-the-art collision and repair facility. Located at 3800 South Lapeer Road, give them a call at 248-393-2222. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Corliss. Joined tonight, fresh from his appearance on WJR, and usually our stats guy, glad to welcome Aiden Novak in. And Aiden, it's the second season. Usually, the game plan doesn't change much, which means Lake Orion's going to run the ball, try to control the clock. They are made for playoff football. They absolutely are. That was what I was just going to say. They're going to run the ball. They got to get Jaden Barrero going, TR Hill on the ground, control that clock, and keep the ball away from Clarkston's offense. Clarkston had a huge win last week over Utica Eisenhower. Um, they came into our bracket, Oxford went north, but Clarkston's starting to gel at the right time. They're playing really a really good brand of football as we saw three weeks ago. Absolutely, and they definitely gave Lake Orion a really tough test of three weeks ago. Back here at Dragon Stadium, the Dragons prevailed, but Clarkston with that big win against Ike, they're ready to go. They've got some momentum coming in here. It's going to be a fun one. In the pre-districts, which is tonight, we have Clarkson coming in. The winner of this game will face the winner of Stony Creek and Rochester Adams. Oxford, by some twist of fate, got sent to the Northern District. They play Davison tonight, and the winner of that game, by the way, they get to take on Grand Blank, who's really good. It's playoff football and you wouldn't want it any other way. Anything can happen in this bracket. This bracket, this region, it is completely up in the air. Anybody can win it. There's a lot of good teams. This is gonna be an exciting year of playoff football. So it's a familiar enemy or team or rival, however you wanna describe it. It's Lake Orion Clarkston, this time in the playoffs. Stay with us. Pre-game has been underwritten by Sarah Dodge Jeep and Ram of Lake Orion, part of the Sarah Automotive family, offering new and used car sales, service on all makes, parts, accessories, and a state-of-the-art collision and repair facility. Located at 3800 South Lapeer Road, give them a call at 248-393-22. 22. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Just before kickoff, playoff football tonight, the Lake Orion Dragons and the Clarkston Wolves. Lake Orion won the toss, deferred to the second half. 
so Clarkston will receive the opening kickoff. Our officiating crew tonight, it is an Owasso-based crew. Dave Layton is the referee. Mike Henry is the head linesman. Frank Marr is the line judge. Gene Davis is the umpire. And Adam Layton is the back judge. Only working with a five-man crew tonight after working seven man throughout the regular season. Clarkston is coached by head coach Justin Pinter. He's in his third year and he has just continued Clarkston's, if you want to say continued excellence, they have not missed a beat by changing coaches from Kurt Richardson to Justin Pinter. No, they have not. Uh, they have definitely had some successful seasons. Last year was a a bit rocky. They were about 500 last year, but they did make a run in the playoffs. They did beat these Dragons, and right here they're back at it, 6-3 and three against the Dragons again in the playoffs. Definitely yeah. lead them to success. Yeah, this is the 61st meeting overall between Lake Orion and Clarkston. Clarkston leads the overall series 35-25, to 25. and the really amazing thing is this is the seventh time these teams have met in the playoffs, and they're even at 3-3. Three and three. Yep, 3-3 three and three for both sides. So this one's going to get a, the winner of this one's going to have the overall playoff lead. And, and the crazy statistic about this rivalry, Clarkston has dominated it over the past decade and a half. Lake Orion's got the most recent win three weeks ago back here at Dragon Stadium, 20-13. to 13. But other than that, Clarkston has won 14 of the last 17 matchups in this rivalry. So it's been almost all Clarkston for the better part of 20 years. Both these teams have state championships to their credit. Lake Orion, of course, in 2010. Clarkston went back to back in 2012 and 2013 and then won again. I, I can't remember. I don't have the date written down. I want to say it was 2018. Yeah. And that's when they beat West Bloomfield. Three, <laughs> three to two. Three to two. Oh, my. Some familiar faces on the Clarkston staff. I was talking with Luke Denver before the game. He was a safety on the uh, semifinal team of 1998 and still holds the state record for number of passes attempted in a playoff game against Grand Blake in 1999. You were just telling me about that. I was fascinated. 52 pass attempts yeah. in one game? No, I'm sorry, 59. 59? 59. 59. That's in okay. insane. At this point, we're going to stop as PA announcer Roger Smith announces the band playing of the National Anthem. Welcome to the podium, Lake Orion High School Assistant Marching Band Director, Dylan Hyman, as he leads the Dragon Marching Band in the Star Spangled Banner. As we mentioned earlier, Lake Orion won the toss, deferred to the second half. 
Clarkston will receive. Coach Bell said they had a great week of practice this week. And we were also talking about the difference in temperature. Roger Smith just said the game time temperatures 46 degrees. That's a little different than it was week one. Definitely a little different. Even week seven when these two teams played, you said to me pregame, it wasn't that long ago. We were running around in short sleeves, shorts, 70 degrees outside. This is a big change. But welcome to November 1st. <laughs> Clarkston will be kicking off to the south. The Dragons will be moving right to left along your television screen. Will Hoffman ready to tee it up. And Clarkston has number 22, Brady Beck, set back deep. Along with number eight, Brody Rudder. As you remember, three weeks ago, these two teams met and Lake Orion came away with the victory in a tight fought battle. Hoffman puts a foot into it high, end over end kick taken at the three. By Beck up over the 20 and down at the 27 yard line. Return of about 25 yards. Clarkston will take over first and 10. And this is where Clarkston's got to get the Bowman twins going. Number zero, Griffin Bowman. Number one, Lucas Bowman. Both weapons out of the backfield, both physical runners. They got to get them going early if they want to succeed. And Alex Frachenko is the quarterback. He's a sophomore. Lines up, twins left, handoff off the side. Handoff taken by Griffin Bowman, number zero. And he was stopped really quick. That was Lane Garris. Yeah, Lane Garris on the tackle. Loss of two, it'll be second and 12. Garris read that the whole way. Clarkston, double wide, double slot, single back in the backfield on second and 12. Motion, far side. Handoff to the other Bowman, Lucas Bowman off the, the left side. Got about seven, it'll be third down and five. Just underway tonight, glad you're with us on a cool Friday night in Lake Orion, wherever you are <laughs> in this big blue marble we call Earth. So calling it third and four from the 33, Clarkston comes out, trips left, twins right. Back, looks, throws, caught, cut down, short of the first down. Number 15, A.J. Lights. Yeah, Brady Beck caught it, and before he could turn up field, Lights had him around the, the ankles. That was just a great tackle by Lights. He's just reading it, reading it the whole way. His eyes are always on Beck, and he just was like a heat-seeking missile on that play. He came in and hit Beck hard, and he... Upended him, fourth down. So fourth and two, and Clarkston's going to go for it. They come out double wide, double slot. And There's a flag. Timeout's taken by Lake Orion. And I'm sure Clarkston was going to come out and try to draw the Dragons offside. And they came out in that double wide, double slot look. 
And Coach Bell wisely called the timeout. 9.50 to go. First quarter is underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orient area. Proud supporters of ONTV since 2009. For more information, visit JetsPizza.com. First quarter is also written by Orion Oaks Dental, where the number one priority is to deliver quality care to their patients in a com comfortable and convenient setting. And I will finish after this play. Double wide, double slot on fourth down, single back in the backfield. Pachenko on the handoff, Bowman just got the first down by about a half yard. I think his forward lean got the, got the first down for him. So first and 10 from the Clarkston 48. And to finish our read, located at 400 West Clarkston Road in Lake Orion, Visit their website at www.orionoaksdental.com or give them a call at 248-693-4422. First and 10, twins left, single wide right, single back in the backfield. Now motion far side. Handoff up the middle. Lucas Bowman on the carry. He's got 11 and a first down. That's the physical running of both Bowman twins. They both play that similar style of football. They're just great downhill runners. They run hard. They break tackles. They run through a bunch of defenders, and that's you see it right there, picking up 10 yards, first down for Clarkston. And like I said before, they got to get the Bowman twins going, and they're going right now. They've got a little bit of a rhythm going. Double wide, double slot on first down. Handoff up the middle. Bowman's got the ball, and he they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Clarkston. That one was Griffin Bowman, number zero. Yep. Griffin Bowman found a seam and turned the Jets on, and nobody could catch him. It's like they may as well be one person with double the stamina because they both play the same style of football. I mean, they are twins. And there you see the breakaway speed of Griffin Bowman in the open field. Clarkson gets on the board early to start. Number 17, Aiden O'Neill in for the conversion. Ball is down, kick is up. And the kick is good. Looked like someone may have gotten a hand on it because it just leaked over the crossbar. 8.29 to play. Clarkson jumps out to a 7 to nothing lead. Here you see on our Jets Pizza replay, there's Griffin Bowman, breakaway speed. He hits the hole right off the right side of the offensive line, and nobody in the secondary is going to catch him once he gets in the open field. He's hard to tackle, and he's hard to catch. And the scoreboard for the first half is underwritten by Michigan United Credit Union. The full-service financial institution serves everyone who resides, works, worships, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 814-4000 or visit their website at michiganunitedcu.org for more information. Clarkston will kick off. Jackson Vasquez and Kyle England back deep for the Dragons. And O'Neill has it teed up on the 40. Good crowd on the Clarkston sideline. Great crowd as always on the Lake Orion sidelines. O'Neill approaches. High short kick, but travels into the end zone. Lake Orion will take over first and 10 at the 20. And replays for tonight are underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of ONTV since 2009. 
For more information or to order dinner, visit JetsPizza.com. Dragons break the huddle. T.R. Hill leads them out. This is where LO has to get their ground game going. They got to get Jaden Barrero going on the inside zone runs up the middle. They got to get TR getting the outsides. They've got to get everybody involved in the ground game and just control the clock for this game. They want to keep the ball out of Clarkson's hands. Kyle England and Jackie Vasquez split left. Handoff coming around the side. Jamari Cooper slips a tackle, gets taken down after about a yard. Brody Davis on the stop for Clarkston. They're giving them a yard. It'll be second and nine. Interesting play call on the first uh, play for Lake Orion, running that jet sweep across uh, the line of scrimmage with Jamari Cooper. They got him split way wide here. Split wide left. TR on the carry. And he's jammed up and taken backwards. They're going to give him no gain or maybe a half a yard. It's going to be third and long. And Brody Davis again on the stop. They just saw the ball the whole way. They saw Tristan Hill pull it out of the pulled out of the running back's arms real quick, and they were just all over it. There was nowhere for him to go on that play. With a little help from his friends. So third down and eight from the 22. England and Vasquez split wide right. Jamari Cooper in a wing left. Rochelo sets up on the right side. Toss, Jamari Cooper. And he was hauled down by Griffin Bowman. Looked like he had a seam and Griffin Bowman just grabbed him around the waist and pulled him down. So it's fourth and four and Will Hoffman comes in to punt. Back deep for Clarkston is Brady Beck. High snap, high short kick, takes a Lake Orion bounce inside the Clarkston 45 to the 43 where the Wolves will take over first and 10. Hey, stay up to date with Orion Neighborhood Television and social media. Follow us on Facebook, X and Instagram and be sure to visit our website at www.orionontv.org you can watch all of our games on our video on demand page to be able to view them whenever you want so first and 10 for Clarkston on their own 44 they're calling it they come out twins right Backs in an offset eye. Single wide left. Motion this side. Coming around the far side. Taken down. Is Nick Mahaffey on the carry. Number 35, Alex yeah. Hensley, and number 66, Garrick Sheffield, combined on the tackle right there. They were all over it from the start. Just talking to Garrick Sheffield's dad, the ex-Dragon linebacker mm -hmm. Steve Sheffield, before the game. Trips to the right, single wide left on second and 10. Handoff, trying to set up a wall on the right side. He got maybe three. Lucas Bowman. Before Sheffield brought him down. And Lane Garris. Gain of four. It'll be third down and six. From the Clarkston 48. Five minutes to go. Here in the first. Clarkston up by seven. This 
stop for Lake Orion here would be huge. Try to get something going because they did not have the ideal start on defense or offense. Play clock down inside 10. Rolling. Got pressure. Got away from it and is brought down Garrick by Sheffield Garrick again. Sheffield again. He's been active already. It is now fourth and three. Look at this escape maneuver. Rochelot, he got Ryan Rochelo coming up had the edge. Him. How does he escape that? Rochelo is all over him right from the snap, and he just ducked right through the tackle. Luckily, Sheffield was in the right spot for Lake Orion to stop him short. Dragons jamming the line. And Lake Orion is calling a timeout. <coughs> Clarkston was late getting one of the linemen in. Yeah, I thought Clarkston would have been the one to call yeah. the timeout because we saw that, that one player coming in really late. I figured it would have been Clarkston taking the timeout. Don't know what's going on on the Lake Orion side. I'm sure Coach Bell had a reason. Because that's already their second timeout of the half, and we're not even it through is. the first quarter yet. Those it timeouts is. are valuable. They did not have Vasquez back in return formation, so I thought they were going to do an all-out rush. Now Jackie goes back, sets up around his 20. So fourth down. Casey Briarly back there to punt for Clarkson, yeah, number got, 88. He's got a little wind at his back. High kick. Oh, what a Takes bounce. Takes a Clarkston bounce down to about the five. What a punt that, by Briarly. That ball bounced and just stayed in bounds. That was a beautiful punt by Briarly. That ball bounced right around the 20 yard line and it just rolled and rolled straight forward to the five. Beautiful punt. And wouldn't go out of bounds. Those footballs, you never know where they're gonna go. Those egg shaped, like they could bounce anywhere. He's very fortunate to get the bounce that he did. And Lake Orion's gonna have to work for it's, this one. It's a prolate spheroid. And sometimes <laughs> it takes funny bounces. So TR leads him out. Peyton McIntyre comes in at the running back position or at a tight end. They may go two tight ends. They got twins left with Vasquez in England and two tight ends. They've got Jamari Cooper lined up in the backfield as a running back. Yeah, they've done that before. Jamari's an athlete. Oh, he's definitely a speedster. He can fly. So here we go. First and 10 from the Lake Orion 5. TR on the carry. Gets up near the 10. Bill stopped by Beck. And drop by Brady Beck. Gain of 5. It'll be second down. Offensive line did a great job on that play, uh, separating the D-line there, creating a hole for T.R. Hill. Brady Beck was just right there at the end of it to stop him. Jaden Barrero checks in at the running back position. Dragon comes up, come out, trips to the left. Barrero's the running back. T.R. looks, throws, got a receiver. It's Vasquez. Up over the 15 to the 17. That'll be a first down for the Dragons. First first down of the night. What a move by Vasquez on that play. Just a simple little screen pass. Quick throw by T.R. Hill. Lucas Bowman is right there ready to tackle Vasquez, but he just puts his foot in the ground, cuts up field, and gets past the chains. Lake Orion's first first down. He had Peyton McIntyre leading the way for him from his tight end position. They've been throwing... Peyton McIntyre in there as a blocker the past few weeks. He's the uh, captain of the defense. He's their uh, linebacker. They've been throwing him in some blocking packages Tight on offense. Tight formation. Ferrero trying to get around the right side. Gets about 
two to the 19. It'll be second down. Jamari Cooper checks back in again. And Barrero's their big body running back. They usually run it straight through the middle with him, run the off tackle scheme with him, trying to break tackles and just plow through the D line with him. He's their big body, he's their power back. Second and eight. TR Balls drops the, the ball, it's got a fall on it. They're calling it a fumble. Clarkston saying they have it. They do. And the officials agree. TR never got the snap. That is a disastrous turnover for the Dragons. Clarkson's going to start inside Let's the red see zone. What, yeah, he... He just never handled it. I don't know if Jamari screened his vision because he came across right about the time the ball was snapped. And Clarkson recovers on the Lake Orion 18-yard line. They come out double wide, double slot. Borsenko from the gun with a single back. Now motion this side. Handoff up the middle. Wow. Breaks Bowman breaks it outside, down to the five was Lucas Bowman. He takes it down to the five. That'll be a first down and goal for Clarkston. Look at this run by Bowman. Right there, he breaks it outside, puts it in, comes he's, back, breaks it outside. He's got two tacklers right there ready to get him. It looked like it was 11 Grady Harbin and 35 Alex Hensley. Both hit him at the same time. He just bounced off both of them and got the edge. Fantastic run by Bowman. Twins left single wide right on first and goal. Handoff, Bowman up the middle, brought down Sheffield, cut in from his defensive line position and brought him down. Garrick Sheffield has had himself a night already. already. Yeah, already, just like you said. He's got three tackles tonight, and just in the first quarter. There's yeah. still time left in this first quarter as well. Lost a yard. It'll be second and goal from the six. They'll have to get one more playoff before the end of the quarter. They come out twins left, single wide right. Bowman alongside the quarterback. We got a flag. We have a flag. Oh, timeout Clarkston. Coach Pinter called a timeout, 27.2 seconds to go. Hey, here are five good reasons for high school multi-sport participation. Fewer overuse injuries, less opportunity for emotional burnout, exposure to different players and coaches, exposure to different rules, and learning to compete better. Being a multi-sport participant can help a kid become a more well-rounded person. Multi-sport participation is cross-training for life. Learn more at the MHSAA website, which is, of course, MHSAA.com. So 27.2 seconds to go. Clarkston has a second and goal from the six. With second and goal from the six. You gotta be expecting a run to one of the Bowman twins here. They've been dominating the game so far in the first quarter. Twins left, single wide right. From the gun. Bowman outside, tries to cut it inside. And he's in for the touchdown. He had a convoy heading around the left side 
and he just found an open opening, planted his foot, and went in for the touchdown. That's number two for Griffin Bowman on the night. The first one was that big breakaway. The second one, he just uses his speed around the edge once again, and he finds the hole. Clarkston's got a two-possession lead before the end of this first quarter. O'Neal on for the extra point. Hold kick. The kick is good. 21.2 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's now 14 to nothing. Here you see it again. There's that speed around the edge. Right there, plants his foot. Yep. Just got past the arm of yep. Will Hoffman, and there he is with the power. Just runs right through the tackles to the goal line. Crosses, touchdown again. That's number two for Bowman. Hey, more high school games than ever can be seen live every week on the MHSAA.tv website. The school broadcast program continues to grow with more and more schools using the NFHS Network's automated production solution, Pixelot, to show both regular season and postseason games. Check it out at MHS, MHSAA.tv. So still 21.2 to go here in the first. The Dragons will have their wind at their back in the second quarter. England and Vasquez to receive for the Dorian. England and Vasquez and back deep. Aiden O'Neill will kick off for Clarkston. O'Neill approaches, end over end kick into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20, where the Dragons will take over first take and over 10. The end zone for a and the Dragons have to make something happen on this drive. Absolutely, they did. They've gotten off to a rough start. First drive, they go three and out. Second drive, it's a fumble inside their own red zone. So they've got to get rolling on this drive. Otherwise, this game could get ugly quickly. Dragons brought a lot of JV and a couple freshman players up for the playoff push. Talking with Coach Bell, he said, we don't bring these kids up just to watch. They're running the scout team. They're learning the playbook. You know, If we have to use them in a the game, we will. They've got to be ready to go. Their head's got to be in it the whole time, of course. Always got to be on, on ready, on standby. Wins left, handoff up the middle goes nowhere. That was Don Diego Hawkins, and he got stoned at the line. The Dragon's just gonna let this clock run. That'll be the end of one. Giving him maybe a half yard. <clears throat> so it'll be second and nine as the first quarter comes to an end. We played one. The Clarkston Wolves lead the Lake Orion Dragons 14 to nothing. Stay in tune with the prep sports scene by listening to This Week in High School Sports on the MHSAA Network. Carried on nearly 100 radio stations and web audio outlets around the state, This Week features various stories plus a weekly Be the Referee segment. This Week in High School Sports can also be heard by visiting the homepage of the MHSAA website on MHSAA.com. So for the Dragons, not a real good first quarter. And the second quarter is underwritten by the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce. For nearly 75 years, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce has been dedicated to creating a healthy local economy and building a strong environment for economic growth and stability. They represent business to the government, coordinate educational forums, host networking events, advocate for business-friendly legislation, and promote community. The Chamber is a 501c6 nonprofit organization funded through Chamber membership investments, sponsors, and fundraisers. 
Follow them on Facebook or visit their website, orientareachamber.com. As we start the second quarter, Dragons come out in a tight formation, single back in the backfield is Barrero. TR on the carry. He gets about three, and he's brought down number 56, Liam Sutherland, on the tackle. They're calling, they're giving him two. It's third down and seven from the 23. So what do you do here if you're Coach Bell? What's the play call here on a third and seven from your own 23? The run game has not been able to get going. What do you do here? We'll find out. Throwing the ball. Hill. Got, Got him. Receiver. England. Are they going to get him? Ten. Touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. That's what you do. You throw a 77-yard touchdown pass. That is exactly what the Dragons needed. They have got nothing going on defense, nothing going on offense. Now you've got a spark of fire. That's a huge play from Hill to England. That will get this Dragons team going. They're right back in it. Kyle England turned the Jets on. He's a burner. He can fly. So Will Hoffman on for the extra point. Jackie Vasquez will hold. High snap, balls down, kick is up, and the kick is good. 11.02 to go here in the third. It's now 14-7. Take a look at our Jets pizza replay again. Hill, plenty of time in the pocket. England just gets a step behind the defender. That was number seven, Jack Kopsch. And England just turned on the Jets and took it to the end zone. Exactly the momentum play Lake Orion needed. And did TR drop a dime on Oh, that was a perfect throw. It was. So Will Hoffman will kick off. Mahaffey and Beck are back deep for Clarkston. Will approaches. End over end kick taken at the two. Up to the 20. Up to the 25 and down about the 27 yard line. Brady Beck on the kickoff return for the Wolves where they'll take over first and 10. Now the Dragon defense has got to stiffen. They played well and they need a big stop. They have played phenomenal over the past three games, only allowing a total of 29 points between Clarkston Farmington and Saline, 13 to Clarkston, seven to Farmington, and eight to Saline. So we'll see, they need a big stop here. Clarkston comes out in a tight double wide, double wing formation. Play Hand fake. Off. Looks, going deep oh. and overthrown. Over through Lucas, Washenko dropped back and heaved it. And do we have a flag down? Don't believe so. I think an official actually might have gotten hit. I saw an official on the ground. Somebody might have collided with him. Just got an update. Stony Creek is leading. Adams seven to nothing at the end of the first. Of course, the winner of this game will play the winner of that game. Clarkson coming up, double wide, double slot now, motion far side. Handoff, Bowman up the middle. 
Breaking tackles again. Lucas Bowman up over the 45. He keeps those legs churning and he runs hard. Man, is he tough to tackle. Here's our replay again. Right there. Straight up the middle, there's two broken tackles. Three. And then finally, Lane Garris and Garrick Sheffield combined on that tackle. He broke three tackles. It is really hard to get this guy down. He just runs with pure power. So twins right, single wide left, backs in an offset eye. Hand off. Set up a screen. He's got blockers in front. That's and, Beck. Yep. Brady Beck inside the 20. They're going to mark him down at the 21. So first down and 10. And that was a very well set up screen. That was very perfectly set up. Wyshenko very, very skillfully just floated it over the big Ryan Rochelo, number 88 for Lake Orion, floated it right to Brady Beck, and there were blockers in front, and he followed the convoy, got a huge gain up the sideline on the verge of the red zone again. So mark down at the 21, it'll be first and 10. Double wide, double slot on first down, single back in the backfield. Wyshenko. Hands off. We have a stoppage in play. It's a false start and on Clarkston. We have, yeah, we have a false start on Clarkston, so that'll come back five. Penalty on Brady Roush. So that brings it back to the 26, and it's first and 15. Clarkson breaks the huddle. Double wide, double slot, motion far side. Handoff, trying to hurdle is Brody Denver. Oh, they called number 18, Hank Horning. He got maybe the penalty yardage back, might be a yard short. It's going to be second and 11. A little risky decision there by a Horning to go up and over the defense. He uh, did not work out for him. He got taken out from underneath by Grady Harbin. He went down hard. It very rarely does. <laughs> oh, but is it fun to watch when it does work? Twins left, single wide right on second down. Now motion this side. Handoff up the middle. It's Bowman again. Lucas Bowman. He's going to be, it's going to be about a third and one. Another strong run by Bowman just straight up the middle. He picked up about 10 yards on that run, breaking tackles again, just running through defenders. He's been doing that this entire first half. Clarkston. Handoff, stoned him. What a tackle. Bowman's not going anywhere this time. Trey Pakmare and Will Hoffman in. That's a big one for Alex, Lake Orion defense. Alex Hensley in. That's a big one for Lake Orion defense. They try and go off the left side of the O-line. Grady Harbin, the first man to him. Alex Hensley, Trey Pakmara, a thunder of dragons. Ultimately, they bring him down behind the line of scrimmage. Here they go, fourth down. So fourth and three. Play action. Persenko back to pass, looks, throws. Incomplete. Incomplete. The dragons make a stand and will take over on downs. Oh man, did the Dragon defense ever need that? They did have their big tight end, number 19, Benny Adams, was open in the end zone. He had, he got behind Austin Kahn in coverage, but Wyshenko just floated it a little too much. It was underthrown. It was really tough catch for Adams. He couldn't hand, he couldn't handle it. He and Dragons get a stand. Just couldn't extend his arm up out enough to bring it in. 
and it would have been a one-handed catch had he made it. Crazy to even get his arms there, though. He is a big dude. He's got a long wingspan, so he definitely could have brought it in. Just a very tough one. Two wides, two tight ends for the Dragons on first down. Vasquez in motion. Handoff up Ooh. the middle, nothing. Ferrero on the carry, and he was stopped at the line. They have just not been able to get the ground game going here. That Clarkson front seven has been holding it down. Lucas Bowman on the stop. Oxford is leading Davison right now, seven to nothing. Twins left, backs in an offset eye. TR rolling, coming up, he's gonna run it. Spins near the 20, gets over up to the 22. It's gonna be third down and about three for the Dragons. Decent, decent little carry by TR and a great decision. He was rolling out to his right. There were two Clarkson defenders right there, so he just stopped himself, saw a hole up the middle, and hit it for six, seven yards. Decent gain, third and short. Yeah, he had a hole in there and actually had to try to spin out of the way of one of the Clarkston defenders. So it's third down and two. Tight formation, single wideout. Rochelot moves and sets up on the left. Handoff up the middle, and he's not going to get it. Ferrero got stood up again by four Clarkston defenders. They're not giving him anything. Another gain of nothing. Griffin Bowman was the first one to meet him. So Will Hoffman comes in on fourth and two. Brady Beck is dropping back deep for Clarkston. That's a good punt nice by kick. Hoffman. That's a great punt. Brady Beck watches it, takes a dragon bounce wow. down to the 19-yard line. What a punt Great by Hoffman. Punt. He just flipped the field. They're marking it down at the 18, where Clarkston will take over first and 10. Yeah, we don't quite have time for another read because Clarkson's <laughs> going to break their huddle any moment. And here they come. First and 10 for the Wolves. 5.38 to go in the half. Clarkson up by seven. Clarkson comes out, trips to the left, single wide right. Trips are in a diamond formation. They're going to get a false start on Clarkson gonna, here. It's going back five more. <laughs> Penalty on number 54, Drew Ball. Offensive tackle. Number 13, Malachi Hood, just wisely just jumped after the Clarkson defender flinched to draw the penalty. Yeah. So first and 15 from the 13. Same formation. Wachenko gets a couple, gets maybe the penalty yardage back. So it'll be second down and 10. 5 yard gain. Yeah, don't sleep on Alex Wyshenko's legs. It's not just the Bowman twins that are weapons in this ground game. Wyshenko can uh, move a little bit too. He will be a weapon in the ground game every once in a while. Get the Bowman twins a little bit of a break and mix things up. And he's only a sophomore, folks. Very young. 
Double wide, double slot in a tight formation. Korsenko under center. Hand off, Bowman. Nothing. Gets oh, jammed up, mind. slips out of it. Got maybe two out of it. Griffin Bowman on the carry, number zero. So it's going to be third down and let's call it seven. Scoreboard calls it eight. So third down and long. Clarkston breaks the huddle. <coughs> Twins left, now motion right. Washenko rolling right, looks, throws. Broken up, great play over there by Austin Kahn. Very tight coverage by Austin Kahn. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little surprised there was no flag on that play. Austin Kahn looked like he got to him a little bit early. Might have gotten his arm around his jersey. He might have given him a love pat. Yeah. Yep. But if it wasn't called, it didn't happen. And it's fourth <laughs> down and eight. Vasquez sets up around his own 49. And another flag, let's see what this one is. I think Clarkston got caught with 12 men. The officials over there pointing his finger, counting on everybody. I actually think it might be Lake Orion with 12 men. Nope. And they're picking it up. Yep, there was no foul. There's no foul for illegal substitution, fourth down. So fourth and eight. Pressure. Good. Punt. Nice kick. Drives Vasquez back to his 38. And he's going to be hemmed in and dropped at the 40. Nice punt and a three-yard return by Vasquez. So the Dragons will take over first and 10. 3.49 to go in the second. Hey, be the referee. If you want to learn more about the fine art of officiating, listen to Be the Referee every week on the MHSAA Network. Learn about rules and mechanics. Play You Make the Call and find out how you can become an official. You can also listen by going to MHSAA.com. First and 10 for the Dragons. Twins left. Barrero and Travis Acker. We have a delay for some reason. The referee went over to talk to Coach Pinder. And now he's going to come over and talk to Coach Bell. No, he's not. So first and 10, twins left, backs in an offset eye. TR from the pistol. Drops back, looking, throwing. Ooh. Intended for Jamari Cooper. Nope, I'm sorry, intended for England. And he's hurt. He's coming back holding his right, his left shoulder. I think he's got a stinger. The ball was slightly underthrown by T.R. Hill. It was a little behind England. He did have a little separation. He did have him over the middle. He just missed his spot. Yeah, England went down for it. Yeah, he got hit pretty hard. Yeah, I think he's got a stinger. So second and 10, TR looks, throws, caught. Ryan Rochelot in Clarkston territory at the 40-yard line, first down Dragons. He is going to be 
a big part of this Dragon passing game is to look at the replay. Just runs that simple corner route. Just and kind he's, of, a, he's a big guy. He's you very, aren't just going to bring big. him down one on one. And he's got the height to go get that ball up top. Like that throw is a little high, but he's just so tall that he just makes it look so easy. Just found the hole in the zone and a big play for the first down for the Dragons. Throwing the ball effectively. Dragons come out, trips left. Single back in the backfield is Barrero. He gets the handoff up the middle, gets a couple. Fights for it. And fights for more. He got five when he should have had two. That's just the second effort and keeping the legs churning. Gave him six. It'll be second and four. As we close in on 2.45 to go in the half. The Dragons will receive the second half kickoff. This is what we talk about in the, the last three minutes and the first three minutes of a quarter. The Dragons need to score here. Toss back to Barrero and he's going to get dropped for a loss. Lucas Bowman got in there and brought him down. Yeah, and the Dragons need some kind of points here. At least a field goal to give them less than a touchdown deficit heading into the half. Give them some momentum. As long as they can run that clock down a little more, they can build on that and maybe take a lead on their opening drive in the second half. That is a huge part of this. Dragons have one timeout remaining. Clarkston has two, and we're inside two minutes. Trips right. It's a big play for the Dragons. TR back, looks, Got throws. Him. Got Vasquez. He's got a first down inside the 30 to the 27. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. That's a first down Dragons with a minute 32. That pocket's holding up really well for Tiago Hurley. He's got time to scan the field. He finds Vasquez just sitting down in the middle of the zone right at the first down marker and turns it up for a couple extra just to make sure he's got that first down. And yeah, they're he, moving. He just found that soft spot, turned yep. around, and gave his body to his quarterback. Yep. TR back, looking, got pressure, scrambles out of it, looks, throws, caught. That's Grady Harbin. Grady Harbin on the reception. He's inside the 10. They reset the clock, or reset the change with a minute left. What a play by both these guys. Look at TR dodging the sack, steps up, rolls out to his right, guides Grady down the field, points to him, and he just hits him right in the number, and Grady making moves, missing, making guys miss inside the 10, first and goal for the Dragons. Huge play. First and goal from the eight. TR from the gun, back, looks, throws. Oh, wow. Broken up. Intended for Cooper. Yeah. Intended for Jamari Cooper. Brody Rudder on the breakup. That ball just seemed like it was forced by T.R. Hill. That uh, Yeah, he that, threw into triple cover. That could have very easily been intercepted. Yeah. So second and goal from the eight. 42.2 to go. Dragons come out trips left. Single back in the backfield is Barrero. TR back. Got pressure. He's going to take off. Oh. And he's tripped up at the 10. The clock's they running. They said he didn't get out of bounds. The clock continues to run. Bell took the timeout. Looked like he 30 seconds left. I think he landed in bounds. I don't know. From here, it looked like he caught just enough air that he landed in the white, but I couldn't tell. It was kind of one of those borderline things where you just don't know. It is third down in goal. There was a loss on the play back to the 11. Let's Sorry. see. Here's our replay here. He's Good just, job escaping the pressure. Yeah. 
and gets tripped up right here. Starts nope. flying up. Nope. He is down in bounds. Yep. His rear end came down right on that hash mark, just short of the sidelines. As John Madden used to say, two butt cheeks equal one knee. <laughs> In this case, that is very true. Mm -hmm. Yep, right on the hash yep. at the 11. So it's third and goal from the 11. Jamari Cooper splits wide left. They've got him on an island out there, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Harbin goes over in a slot left. Jackson sets up on a wing right. TR back, looks, throws, Deep. the corner. Oh, he had him. Off the hand. The way Jamari put his hands up, I don't know, that ball may have been in the lights because he put his hands up right at the last minute. And TR floats this perfectly. Yeah. He's wide open. Watch this. Just... Now all of a sudden his hands oh. go up. Yeah, he might have just lost it. I think it. that ball was in the lights. That hit him right in the hand. It was very catchable in the front corner of the end zone. Great ball by Hill. So 23.7 seconds left. Will Hoffman comes out to attempt a 23-yard field goal from the right hash. Ball's down. Kick is up. And he got and it. And the kick is good. 19.7 seconds left. The Dragons, 10. Clarkston, 14. And if you're, if you're Lake Orion right here, obviously you wanted the six, but you'll take that for sure. You got points at the end of the quarter. And you get, and the, you get ball the ball back. Exactly. That's what I was just talking about when they were about around they, the 50. They have a chance in the third quarter to make that a 10-point yep. swing. Yep. That was the minimum you wanted was three points because this gives you a little bit of momentum. A touchdown gives you the lead. This keeps you in this game. Gives you definitely, uh, yep. definitely has a little bit of an edge heading into that uh, second half. So Will going to tee it up on the 40 from the left hash. And I think, I think he'll line drive this one. You don't want to put any air under it and get a chance of a return. A little bit of a squib kick? Not necessarily that, but more of a line drive. Try to get back to the third wave. Yeah. Will approaches, and of course he pops it up. Taken on the 10. And brought Great. down at the 31 with 12.9 seconds to go. Yeah. Now you're the Dragons. You take your safeties and play them well off the ball. Yep. And on those kickoffs, especially at the end of a half, that's the biggest, that's like the best opportunity for a team to score is those kick returns. So you just kind of got to hold your breath a little bit if you're the kicking team. Just keep kind of pray. everything in front of you. Yep, just kind of pray that they don't break one, they don't find a seam. Saw A.J. Litz making the umbrella sign. And that's just got exactly what you have. Everyone's back 15 yards from the line. Double wide, double slot for Clarkston. Handoff up the middle uh -oh. to Bowman. Trying to cut it outside, taken down at midfield. Will Hoffman and A.J. Leitz take him down. That'll be a first down. 6.6 .6 seconds to go, and Clarkston's going to call a timeout. Not ideal for Lake Orion. You don't want to give up a chunk play like that. But, I mean, they did have a lot of people back. They just kind of threw five on the D-line and one linebacker out there. And if they find a hole, Bowman will hit it and get a big gain. If this were the NFL, they'd have the red line down about the 27-yard line. For field goal range. Which would be the field goal range. Clarkston will have one timeout left. And they're going to work the sidelines. Maybe work the center. 
per, they should probably work the center of the field and try to get something set up for a field goal. And they don't necessarily have to get a giant chunk. You want to get a decent play here, maybe about 10, 15 yards. They don't got to get anything crazy because their kicker, Aiden O'Neill, he's got a leg. We were watching him in warm-ups. He can hit. Absolutely. From, he was hitting consistently from about 50 yards, 55. A.J. Leitz is dropping back to the 25. First and 10, double wide, double slot again on first down. Back, down he goes. Half's going to be over. That is ideally what you want for Lake Orion. Great play by Alex Hensley. Alex Hensley came in and dropped him. And they put two seconds back on the clock. Clarkson yes, might have used their last time out. What, yeah. a, what a play by Hensley. He just shot out of a cannon on that play. He just was flying right at Wyshenko, right in front of his face, and just hammered him for the sack. And he's, he's been one of those unsung heroes all year, doesn't this? Mm -hmm. yeah, play real flashy. We don't talk about him a lot. But, boy, he comes up when it's needed. Yep, and he's a sure tackler. You're not getting past him. You're not breaking a tackle from him. So two seconds left. The ball is spotted on the Clarkston 42-yard line on the right hash. And I don't think there's anyone in this stadium that doesn't know what's coming up. Hail Mary. Clarkston comes out double wide, double slot. Four Dragons set between the 35 and the 40 yard line. With two seconds to go. Handoff, Bowman up the middle. Uh-oh. There he goes. He's still going. Broke tackles. Inside, breaking tackles still. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown, Clarkston. Oh, my goodness. And that is the exact opposite of a Hail Mary, but you just give it to your best player, and he just takes off. That is... Griffin Bowman again, that's his third rushing touchdown of the game and it could not come at a bigger time right now. 58 yards with two seconds to go. Who would have expected that? So, O'Neill comes out for the extra point. It will be an untimed play. Ball's down, kick is up, and the kick is good. We've reached halftime. The Clarkston Wolves lead the Lake Orion Dragons 21 to nothing. There's Bowman. Look one, at the broken one, tackles. Two, two. stays yeah. on his feet. Three, four, four five. five. And then six. six and seven bring him down, but it's not in yep. time. He broke the plane. What a play by Griffin wow. Bowman. We've reached halftime. The Clarkston Wolves lead the Lake Orion Dragons 21 to 10. Halftime is underwritten by Sarah Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Lake Orion, part of the Sarah Automotive family, offering new and used car sales, service on all makes, parts, accessories, and a state-of-the-art collision and repair facility. Stop by their location at 3800 South Lapeer Road or give them a call at 248-393-2222. And Orion Oaks Dental, where the number one priority is to deliver quality care to their patients in a comfortable and convenient setting. Located at 400 West Clarkston Road in Lake Orion, Visit their website at www.orionoaksdental.com or give them a call at 248-693-4422.
We'll be right back. We are the MHSAA, a collection of 750 high schools and 750 middle schools, from Temperance to Copper Harbor, from New Buffalo to Alpena. Each year, more than a quarter of a million students play one of our 28 sports. More than one and a half million fans attend our postseason games. There are 30,000 coaches and 8,000 officials, not to mention all of the volunteers. The MHSAA believes in the four S's. School sports should be safe and kept in the appropriate scope. We believe nothing beats great sportsmanship and that scholarship in the classroom is more important than excellence on the field or court. Most of all, we believe school sports should be fun. So come out and join us at a game. Support your school, support your community, and come see what the excitement is all about. Halftime coming to an end. The Lake Orion Dragons trail the Clarkston Wolves 21 to 10. And Aiden, you and I were talking that that 48 yard run with two seconds left. That's video game stuff. Yep, I've only seen that in like college football 25 or Madden or something. A Hail Mary 58 yard run play. Never ever seen that in real life. That was insane what Griffin Bowman just did and that just killed any sort of momentum Lake Orion would have had going into halftime. Yeah, Lake Orion had some momentum and then you'd you'd have a, a fumbled snap. Yep. And th these were some of the things that Coach Bell alluded to last week. And look, it happens. A receiver in motion cuts in front of the quarterback as the ball snapped, and your attention's diverted from the snap. That happens. And that's the stuff that you gotta clean up. And I'm sure Coach Bell emphasized to the team, look, we have to clean up certain areas. Uh, they got to stop the Bowman twins. Oh, absolutely. Griffin Bowman has basically all of Clarkson's points so far. He's got three rushing touchdowns just in the first half alone. Clarkson's leading 21-10. Lake Orion just hasn't been able to stop him, nor Lucas Bowman. They have both been running wild on yeah. this Dragons defense. Yeah, they've been running at will. And you got to tighten up. It's probably into the second level that they've got to tighten up. It would be nice to get your your front four to be able, but let's give this offensive line some credit for Clarkston. Mm -hmm. They've opened up some gaping holes for for them to run through. Yeah, and once a Bowman, once one of the Bowman twins hits that hole, it's all up to the second level to make tackles. And Lake Orion secondary, their linebackers just haven't been able to do it. Like the Bowman twins are just breaking tackles and shedding them off like it's nothing, and it's been the been basically the difference maker in this game. Yeah. Lake Orion will get the ball to start the third quarter. And the second half scoreboard will be underwritten by Cutter Rug Flooring, a local family owned and operated small business proudly serving Lake Orion and surrounding communities. Fully licensed and insured, they specialize in carpet restretching, flooring repairs, as well as full service installation and sales. Their mobile showroom brings a shopping experience right to your door for your convenience. Give them a call at 586-531-3280 or visit their website at cutterrugflooringinstallation.com. The winner of this game, as we stated earlier, will play the winner of Stony Creek and Rochester Adams. The last score we had was Stony Creek leading and that was at the end of the first quarter. We'll try to get an update as soon as we can. As we said, the Dragons will receive the kickoff and move right to left across your television screen.
And I'm sure, you know, you, you talk about what, what goes on in the locker room after a half like that. It's not going to be all yelling and screaming. You keep your game plan in mind. Yep. And you go to, you know, I'm sure defensive coordinator Russ Purdy had a long talk with his defense. I'm sure John Blackstock and Jeff Heath were talking with the defensive backs. Everyone Absolutely. has to shore up their responsibilities. Oh, for sure. And especially those defensive backs. I'm sure uh, Heath and Blackstock definitely gave them a little bit of a word after that because, man, were they struggling to tackle in that first half. So Aiden O'Neill has it teed up on the 40. He approaches, and we're underway in the second half. Short kick taken on the two. Coming up over the 20. And uh, stopped at the 20. Jackson Vasquez on the return. So the Dragons take over first and 10 from their own 20. Cool night. The winds died down. The flag is hanging relatively limp in the northeast corner. A little brisk for sure, but it's a great night for football. It I is. Mean, this, this, this is football this weather. This is no question. football weather. So TR leads him out. <coughs> Herrero will be the running back. Now he comes off the field. There you go. Travis Acker. Travis Acker is the running back alongside TR. TR got pressure, rolling, looks, throws, oh. can't quite hit Vasquez. And we see why they kept Acker in there as that extra blocker. Pass protection. That's his main thing is just being their big body to protect TR. He's the last line of defense in front of Hill most of the time. They'll have him as the up back. They'll have him in shotgun beside Hill. They'll just be in there for protection most of the time. Jamari Cooper splits wide left. Vasquez comes out in a slot left. Pretty tight formation for the Dragons. TR back, throws, caught. Uh-oh, the ball's down, Vasquez. Rochelle had it, dropped it, and Vasquez was right there to fall on it. Boy, is that lucky. Vasquez was the only person there to recover. Yeah, he was. And he was just right place, right time right there. And how about that throw by Hill? That was in double coverage, and he high-pointed it perfectly to his big tight end, Rochelle, using his height to his advantage to get his hands up there and make the catch. Lucas Bowman in on the tackle, number one. So third down and four. Dragons double wide, double slot. TR in an empty backfield. Back. Rolling, looking, throwing, caught. Where they give him forward progress. It's a first down for the Dragons at the 31 yard line. There's Grady Harbin again. He's been very seldom used in the passing game. He's usually on defense. He's one of those corner cornerbacks that uh, Lake Orion uses on defense. Not very common to see him on the field as a wide receiver, but he's definitely making his presence felt tonight. He's had a few grabs. He's played well. So first and 10, now Harbin and Jamari Cooper and Vasquez all split to the left. Handoff up the middle, Barrero. Gets maybe two up to the 34. As we close in on the 10 minute mark here in the third quarter, Dragons down by 11. Barrero looked like he had some space off that right side. He just couldn't break through the arm tackle on the line of scrimmage, just fell forward for a couple extra. It looked like he had a little bit more room though. Twins left. Tight formation on the right side. TR back. Got lots of time looking for a receiver. Now he just throws it out of bounds. 
That's a smart play by Hill to just it live to was. see another down. Nothing doing. You know, if you run the ball, you're probably going to lose yards. That's just smart just to get rid of it and, and live, live to play another down. That offensive line did a tremendous job giving him time. That was more of a coverage yep. incompletion than anything else. So, okay, we just heard Davison has the lead on Oxford 14 to 7, and we haven't heard Adam score yet. Trips to the left on third down. TR back. Cuts it outside, and he's going down at the 25. Again, that was a coverage sack more than anything else. Those oh. Dragon receivers just could not get open. That was Brody Rotter as we look at the replay. He's coming in from the secondary. He is just books it right down the field from outside the chains. Brody Rudder, what a play from the secondary. That's heads-up football. That is. So Will Hoffman on to punt. Solid Gets a punt. Kick, good kick away. Hits on the 28-yard line and is down right there. A little bit of a Clarkston bounce, but regardless, okay. a great punt by Hoffman. He's been kicking the ball well. They're going to mark him down. It'll be first and 10 at the Clarkston 29 with 8.50 to go. Clarkston up by 11. We remind you that the winner of this game will play the winner of the Rochester Adams, Rochester Stony Creek game taking place now. Double wide, double slot for Clarkston on first down. Washenko keeps Washenko it. Washenko on the keeper. He's breaking tackles. And he gets up near the 45-yard line. He gave Grady Harbin a little stiff arm at the line of scrimmage there. He pulled it out. And he looked like he was going to get tackled for a loss, but he just stuck his left arm out there and put Grady Harbin to the ground and picked up a big chunk. So that's a first down at the 45. Washeko's running a pretty efficient offense tonight. The Bowman Twins have kind of opened up the ground game for him a little bit more. You key in on the Bowman Twins, it opens it up for Washenko. Exactly. And he's a good runner. On first down, There's Bowman, Lucas. and he gets brought down after about a yard game. Sheffield in on the tackle. We've called his name a lot tonight. He's got at least five or six tackles tonight. He's had a great game so far. Travis Acker in. And that's really Peyton, Peyton McIntyre came in and sealed the deal. That's really the only way that the Dragons have been able to stop Lucas Bowman or Griffin Bowman here and there is at the first level, at the front, yeah. like the defensive line. Once, If a defensive lineman gets his arms gets their arms around Bowman, he's going to go down more times than not. But if he gets through, then it's trouble. Trips left. Now motion this side. Now double motion this side. Play fake. Vashenko back. Wide Look, open. he's going deep. He's got Bowman. No one's going to get him. Touchdown, Clarkston. That is just a great play design. Lucas Bowman got behind the Lake, the Lake Orion secondary and had about a five-yard cushion when he caught the ball. Yeah, head coach Justin Pintar with a great play design right there. They fake the give to Bowman, and he just runs straight up the seam, and he is wide open. Nobody saw him. Nobody nope. saw him. So O'Neal on for the extra point. They're going to get and a false start on O'Neal. <laughs> they're going to get a false start on the kicker. How often do you see that one? Not very often. <laughs> because as a kicker, 
you don't move till you see that ball in motion. And you're actually moving. You, you've got your first step in by the time the holder's got the ball down. Yep. I can, I can definitely say I've never seen that one before. So they'll back it up five. It will make it a 25-yard extra point attempt. And that'll be brought up in film tomorrow. <laughs> and and ball is down. And, and, it's, and blocked. it's blocked. Will Hoffman. Nope. Trey Pakmara got in and blocked it. That was a fantastic play by Pakmara. He's been getting close all night long. He finally got one. Yeah. And if this was a regular field goal, it, actually, let's look at this replay here. They just got Lucas Bowman running wide open He's up the seat. He's got a five-yard cushion right there. And how about the ball by Washenko? Hits yes. him in stride, leads him right upfield, just takes his momentum right into the end zone. Very well executed by both sides, both both Bowman and Washenko. So 7.09 to go in the third quarter. Clarkston ex extends their lead to 27 to 10. <coughs> like I said, the winner of this game will play the winner of Adam Stony Creek. The loser will turn on turn in the equipment on Monday. And especially for these seniors on both sides, that's going to be a a rough one. Yes, it the will be. The loser of this game, the seniors is going to be a tough yeah. night. On Monday, it's going to be a tough day giving up those pads for the final time. And then all the memories just kind of soak in. And over end kick into and out of the end zone. The Dragons will get it first and 10 at the 20. Let's see if they can generate something here. They have gotten almost nothing. They've had... One big play touchdown, and that was the big pass from Hill to Kyle England that kept them in this game. But otherwise, they've just been stagnant all game. TR has been under pressure all night, and that Clarkston defensive front four or front five has been stopping everything that comes at them. Especially on the ground. They have yeah. not given up anything on the ground. I think Lake Orion's longest run is seven yards. Yeah. And the, the sweep has not been effective. The read options, his own reads no. haven't been effective. They have not been able to get up the middle. Got a whistle. Another Lake Orion timeout. AJ Catnachi in at one of the wide receiver spots. And Lake Orion's going to take a timeout. That's their first one of the second half. The second half page of the MHSAA website Get you closer to the action with features on high school sports from around the state, weekly coaches association rankings, and coverage of MHSAA tournament finals. It's a great read with fresh content nearly every weekday during the school year. Make the MHSAA second half your first stop for high school sports information. First and ten from the, for the Dragons from their own 20. TR back to pass, looks, throws, got Cooper. He slips one tackle and gets a gain of about four. And I know this is not what Coach Bell wants to do. No, he, want, he wanted to control the clock coming yeah. into the game. He wanted to run the ball, win the time of possession battle. They have not been able to do that. Yeah. Clarkson has been all over the run, so he's being forced to sling the rock. And for the most part, it hasn't really worked out too much. Dragons go hurry up. Barrero, the long setback alongside Hill, trips to the left side. TR back. Plenty of Got time. Got time. Rolling right, looks, throws it away again. 
And those Clarkston, that Clarkston secondary has just clamped down on the Lake Orion wide receivers. These guys have not been able to get any separation. This O-line so far has held up pretty decently for Lake yeah. Orion. They've given Tristan Hill time. It's just the coverage pressures and the coverage sacks that come into play because the secondary has just been locked down. Peyton McIntyre checks in at a running back spot, and I'm sure that's similar to what Acker was doing. He's in there for blocking. Give TR a little time on third and seven. Vasquez and Cooper split left. TR rolling, looking, throwing, got Vasquez. See where they mark it. He looks like he's just a bit short of the 30. Yeah, it does. They're going to mark him. About a yard short. Yeah, about the 29 and a half. The nose of the ball is between the 29 and the 30. You've got to go for this for like Oh, you've right? got to. You this time to. in the game, absolutely. I think they're coming out in this T formation here. They're coming out so with the big boys. So here they come out. Here they are, T formation. Three backs in the backfield. Hand off. Got Up it. the middle, first down, Dragons. Ferrero on the carry. Got the nose of the football over to 30 at first down, Dragons. Did you see the way Clarkson adjusted quickly and got about nine guys they, on yes. the line of scrimmage? They brought seven in. They've been watching film the same as everyone else has. Yep. That was just power against power right, right there, and Lake Orion just got enough. Fire! 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 Twins right, single wide left is Harbin. TR back, looking, throwing. Got Vasquez, first down and more. Great throw. Over the, they're going to call him down out at the 45. It'll be first down Dragons. What a ball by Hill. Vasquez is yep. right in the middle of two guys underneath and one guy over the top. Here's a replay. Hill's got plenty of time in the pocket. O-line holds up great. Two underneath, one over just the top of them, and just floats it right yep. in between them. Perfect throw and a first down. So first and 10 from the their own 45, 540 to go in the third. Trips left. Ferrero the lone back. Now Vasquez in motion. TR rolling, looking. <sighs> Set up a screen to Barrero and just led him a little too far. And the pass is incomplete. It'll be second down. I still don't know even if Barrero caught that, if he would have gotten too much more because there was a Clarkston defender. It looked like it was Lucas Bowman right there ready to make a play on Barrero. Might have only gotten about three, but anything is helpful, especially against Clarkston. Second and ten. Okay. So second down. Double wide, double slots. Empty backfield. TR. Going to run it up the middle, close to a first down. They're going to mark him about a yard, a two yards short. They're going to mark him down at the Clarkston 47. It's going to be third and two. And this was design run all the way. He drops back, and you can tell and like that right. was just design yeah. run, QB draw all the way, and he picked up a good amount of yards. And he started to slide. You know, he's... He's been dinged up throughout yep. the se this season. Yep. Torn labrum against mm -hmm. uh, Troy and suffered a mild concussion last week against Aileen. Knocked him yep. out of the game for the last quarter and a half. So, so third and two. Another timeout. And now they got to take a timeout. They had some problems in their alignment. And they had to call a timeout, and that's going to drive Coach Bell nuts. That's the fourth time they've had to use a timeout in 
In a situation where it's absolutely not necessary to. 4.45 to go in the third. Dragons are down to one timeout. You know the teams, players, and coaches work hard all week getting ready for the game. So do the officials. Local officials meetings across the state every week help the men and women calling the action stay on top of their game. Let's give them the respect they deserve. Better yet, why don't you become one? Visit the MHSAA website for more information. There's help wanted, just whistle. And I tell you what, these, these people that come out in the striped shirts, they do a tremendous job week after week after week. And all they care about is getting it right. Yep. We always say there are now seven, but tonight five people who don't care who wins. Mm -hmm. They just want to get it right. TR up the middle, first down and more. Oh, ne Down to the 41, but he got the first down. He tried to bounce that outside. He saw a lane on the right side. He tried to get it there, but I think he just lost his footing and he just got tripped up a little bit. But I think that was... Number 81, T.J. Schaefer for Clarkston. Regardless, though, it is a first down. Vasquez checks out. Harbin checks in at that wide receiver position. Ferrero remains as a running back. Acker in as a fullback. In an offset eye. T.R. from the pistol. Drops back. Got time. Looks. Throws. Incomplete intended for Harbin, and TR put a lot of juice on that oh, ball. Oh, boy, did he ever, and he just threw it over the head of Harbin. Harbin had space. He had separation from, I think that was number eight. That was Brody Rudder, and he had a lot of speed going over the middle, so that's a very tough throw for Hill to make, but if he makes that throw, Harbin's going to be able to turn that up the sideline for a huge gain. A.J. Cotinacci checks in at a wide receiver spot, spot split left. In a double wide, double slot. T.R. looks, throws, caught. Harbin, after about seven yard gain, it'll be third down and about three. It's third down and four. Now, scoreboard's calling it four, so it's third and four from the 35. That's another target to Harbin. He hasn't gotten many all season, like we've been saying, but he's gotten a lot tonight. Yep. He's probably been their number one target tonight. Catnachi, split left. Harbin and Vasquez, split right. Jamari Cooper in a slot left. TR looking, scrambling, throwing, caught. What a throw. Katnachi got a first down at the 23 yard line. First down, Dragons. And that's his first catch of the game. Here you go, you got plenty of time. Yep. The coverage holds up for a while, and then Clarkson finally breaks free and gets some pressure. But Hill's able to extend the play, and another perfect throw in the zone coverage. Just floats it right in between three Clarkson defenders and Katnachi with his first catch of the game in a big spot. Trips right, single back in the backfield. And I think they're going to get Lake Orion on a false start. Nope. Encroachment, Clarkston. So that'll move it at and bring a move it up five. It'll be a first and five from the twenty, and this is where the playbook opens up. Of course it does. It's like Orion passing attack has gotten a lot more aggressive through this for this uh, the second quarter and the third quarter, and it's been effective. So we'll see what they go with here. Tr breaks the huddle. Jamari Cooper and Vasquez split wide right. Harbin split left. Barrero. Hill looks, throws. Touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. Jamari Cooper. 
on the crossing route. Great route by Cooper, great throw by Hill. Another big passing play, touchdown for the Dragons, and they are clawing their way back in this game. That's what they need, a big play touchdown like that. And this passing game, it's a little bit of a surprise today. We were expecting more of a run-heavy attack, and this passing attack has been pretty effective for Lake Orion, keeping them in the ball game. And they're going to go for two. Make it a nine point game. Tight formation, single back in the backfield is Barrero. Jamari Cooper gets it and he's not going to make it. They tried the sweep to Jamari and he just could not find the hole to plant his foot and turn up upfield. He tried to hit the hole and it just wasn't there. So 2.30 to go in the third quarter. It's now 27 to 16 in favor of Clarkston. And thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch live Lake Orion High School sports and events all year. That includes boys and girls basketball, hockey, wrestling, cheerleading, plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $12 per month to watch sporting events and nearly half that subscription money comes back to the LOHS program. Make sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you sign up for your account. And tune in online at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Have a lot of the fine dragon broadcasting students helping us here tonight. They've been such a help and doing such a great job all season. End over end kick taken at the six. And brought down with a single tackle. Harbin is just making a name for himself tonight. Brought down Brady, Brady Beck, who's limping a little. Here's a look back at this touchdown. Just a great route yeah. by Jamari Cooper. He just ran the simple post route right across the defender's face, right over the middle of the field, and TR throws a strike right in front of the goal post, and Jamari Cooper is there in the perfect spot. That's probably one of the best throws TR's made tonight. So first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Twins left, single wide right. Now trips left. Wasenko, handoff, being chased outside is Nick Mahaffey. On the carry, he's got a first down again. He got outside. And that offensive line and the wide receivers just create a wall. And that's a new face that we've seen in the ground game. Is men mainly just the Bowman twins and a little bit of Alex Wyshenko. Yeah. That's a new face. They ran the end around to the left side. They're just able to do everything they want on the ground against this Lake Orion defense. Double wide, double slot on first down. Single back in the backfield. Now motion this side. Wyshenko from the gun. Handoff up the middle. Stop. Brandon Nepchuk, number 73. Nepchuk Caught him and dropped him for a yard loss. That's a response and just the short memory that you need in football. Last That last play on the end around, Brandon Nepchuk yep. got penetration in the backfield and just missed the arm tackle on Mahaffey. And on that very the very next play, just penetrates the O-line again, and he stopped Lucas Bowman for nothing. So second and 11. Same offensive setup. Mushenko back to pass, got pressured. Down he goes. Sheffield got him. Boy, has he been a factor tonight on that D-line. That's his first sack. That's a big TFL. 
Here he goes just straight between the tackle and the guard, untouched to the backfield. Great play by Sheffield. And that drives Clarkston's offense way behind the sticks. That's just pure power. So it's third down and 18 to go. They're going to have to run a play before the clock expires. Third and 18. You'd expect them to sling it here. Backs in the eye. Draw nope. play. Hand off up the middle. Oh, my and goodness. And first down. That was Griffin Bowman. And they convert another long third down. I guess I'm not allowed to say that you expect them to sling it on third and long because every situation could be a running situation with this offense. Griffin Bowman with another big chunk run, and Clarkson heads into the fourth quarter and with a big momentum play. It's not only the power, it's the speed. He's demonstrated a great kind of like a hybrid attack. He's big, he can break tackles, but he does, he does. He show off that, shows off that breakaway speed in the open field. Yep. So we've played three. Our score, the Clarkston Wolves, 27. The Lake Orion Dragons, 13. And we just got word that Oxford and Davison are tied at 14. Oh my. 44 to 7. Ad, um, Adams is o up over Stony Creek. And where can you find good information about all kinds of topics related to the well being of our student athletes? Check out the health and safety page of the MHSAA website. Learn about multi sport participation, heat and hydration. hydration cardiovascular resources, as well as insurance benefits available to, for all students. It's all on the health and safety page of MHSAA.com. So here we go, first and 10. Clarkston from the Lake Orion 39. 12 minutes to go in somebody's season. Twins left, single wide right. Up the middle, Bowman. That was Griffin Bowman for eight, excuse me, for seven. It'll be second and three. AJ Lights brought, brought him down on the tackle right there, but oh, did he pay for it? He yeah. got leveled. So second and three. Twins right, single wide left. Washenko from the gun. Hand off Bowman. He's not going to get the first down. He got maybe two, maybe one. It'll be third down and two. Griffin Bowman for one. That time it was their defensive captain, Peyton McIntyre, number 45, got the penetration on the O-line. He just wrapped him up and brought him down with Brandon Nepchuk. They're calling it third and three from the 32. Washenko from the gun. Bowman alongside of him. Double wide, double slot. Now motion far side. Bowman, first down Clarkston. Sheffield came up on the stop and got dragged for about a yard. So first down Clarkston from the Lake Orion 27. Sheffield comes out for a well-deserved breather. Landon Morris comes in to replace him. That's a big body in the middle of that D-line. From the gun. Handoff up the middle. Oh, it wasn't. I'm watching Bowman go up the middle, and Washenko kept it. 
and got dropped for a two-yard loss. Tried to mix it up. That was one of those other zone reads for Wyshenko. He's got to decide whether he's going to pull it, whether he's going to give it to Bowman, and he made the wrong decision well, right there. They, they mixed it up and got me. I'm watching Bowman. I was watching the same thing. I didn't even see the play going on until Wyshenko's on the ground. So second down and 13. Trips left, single wide, or trips right. Wyshenko rolling, got oh. pressure. Hit as he thrown, and it's incomplete. Oh. And Wyshenko got leveled from behind. Oh, you got that right. He paid for that. He just barely got that throw off in time. Brandon Nepchuk came around to the blind side and just flattened Alex Wyshenko. Man, he paid for that one. So it's third and 13. Colton Williams checks in at one of the wide receiver spots from the gun. Washenko back, looking, throwing, and incomplete over the head. I think it was Brady Beck. Yeah, for Beck. So it's going to be fourth down and 13. And they brought O'Connor out. O'Connell, or I'm sorry, O'Neal. He's going to try a 47 yard field goal. This Ball's is, pretty much in the center of the field. This is a long one for a high school kicker, but he's definitely got the leg to do it. He's And the, the wind's in his face. Ball's down, kick on the way. And, and he hooked it. He hooked it, but Clarkston's going to get the ball back because O'Neal got flattened on his follow through. there, And he's hurt. O'Neal is in, yeah. So that'll be 15 yards, and what's that going to do? It's going to give him a first down by two yards. That can't happen. That cannot happen if you're Lake Orient. That yep. is uncharacteristic, and that is costly right there. Yes. As he missed that field goal. He missed yes, it. Yes, he and did. They would have kept points off the board, but instead Clarkson got a fresh set of downs. So that's going to give him a first down in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's going to be on the 14-yard line. A 15-yard penalty on fourth and 13. And Clarkson stays alive. Double wide, double slot, single back in the backfield from the pistol. Moshenko on the handoff, up the middle. Lucas Bowman gets down to the 11, got a gain of three. That was Alex Hensley wrapped around his legs. Usually those ankle tackles, Bowman's able to break those by just powering his legs high and just getting through him. But Alex Hensley was holding on for dear life, making sure he wasn't going anywhere. Trying to see what's going on with O'Neal over on the sideline. Looks like he, he, does, he doesn't feel too good. No, he's trying to walk it off, but yeah. he's got a pretty uh, ginger walk right now. So double, double wide, double slot on second down. They call it second and three, but it's longer than that. Washenko. The ball's out. The ball's out. Do Lake the, has got it. The Dragons have it. Brandon Nepchuk forced the fumble. He's over on the sideline jumping up in the air. He's fired up. That is a big play for the Dragons. That's it huge. looked like number 45, Peyton McIntyre, recovered. Here's our replay. It's just a simple handoff up the middle to Lucas Bowman. Nope. No, Wyshenko kept Wyshenko it. Wyshenko kept and, it. Yep, Brandon and you know Nepchuk. what? 
Landmark. After after he faked the handoff, he never kept the handle on the ball. Nope. And it came out as he was trying to tuck it away. When you're going to hand the ball off, you hand it off or you keep it. Yep. You don't do something either way. <laughs> That's huge for this Lake Orion offense. They could probably they could maybe get something going here and get back in it. TR back looking, throwing, caught. Nope. Jamari Cooper had to go up for it and just a little too high for him. And that was thrown actually really behind him too. Jamari had to completely stop his route in the middle of the field. Not the greatest ball we've seen from TR Hill tonight. Then again, that was also very, very good coverage downfield. 7.53 to, to go in the game. Dragons down by 11. They need a score. Trips right. From the gun. TR back, looking, throwing. Vasquez has it out to the 15. That's going to bring up a third and eight. Clarkson covering the receivers downfield very well. They're just they are. forcing T.R. Hill to go to his checkdowns, and that's essentially the last read you want to make. That's your safety valve, and he's been forced to hit that safety valve pretty consistently tonight, and it hasn't gone too far. T.R. got pressure, looks, throws, got Rochelo, break a tackle. They're trying to set up the middle screen to the tight end yeah. Rochelo right there. They set it up pretty well. He's just got to make a one-on-one -on -one play got, in space. Got one yard. He's just got to make a one-on-one -on -one play in space. But once again, it's the Bowman twins. Lucas yep. Bowman making the tackle one-on-one. -on -one. He got stiff-armed in the face, and it wasn't enough for Rochelo to break free of his grasp. So it's fourth down, and the Dragons are going to go for it. I mean, you kind of have to in this scenario. There's only six and a half minutes left down, two scores. They got trips right. TR back. Throwing. Vasquez couldn't hold on. And Hill just tried to sling that one as hard yeah. as he could on the run, and he did not get enough on it. Two Clarkson defenders were right there, ready to break the pass up. So the Dragons turn the ball over on downs. It'll be first and 10 Clarkston from the 17-yard line of Lake Orion. 6.18 to go. Oxford has the lead, 21-14 over Davison in the fourth quarter. Clarkston, double wide, double slot. A Bowman in the backfield. And Bowman gets the ball. That's and Griffin. To Griffin down to the 15. Under the halfway mark yeah. in the fourth quarter now. That clock is ticking fast if you're Lake Orion. And Lane Garris making the tackle for the Dragons. And Clarkston is going to use up every bit of that play clock they can. They come out trips left, single wide right. Handoff up the middle. Moving the pile down to the 11. Griffin Bowman. Griffin Bowman on the carry. So five yards on the gain, third down and four as we close in on the five minute mark in the fourth quarter. Play clock down to 15. Oh, 
Mashenko using time. Handoff to Bowman. He's got a first down at the six. So that'll be a first and goal for Clarkston. <coughs> and now time is the Dragon's enemy. Yep, Clarkson using every second possible right now. They're taking their sweet time getting the plays in. They will now, and you know they they can see the play clock. It's it's big numbers in the end zone. Yep, and they'll snap inside five, and we're that play is not going anywhere Looks because like the J flag. J uh, Dragons jumped. Yep. So that'll move it half the distance to the three. And they'll replay first down. Four oh one to go. Clarkston breaks the huddle. They're showing 30 seconds left on the play clock. Washenko just watching the clock tick down. You'd think he'd let his offensive lineman relax a little bit. They're still in their stances. Oh. They'll snap it at five. Hand off to Bowman. He stopped after maybe a yard gain. It'll be third down, or second down. Ball's marked on the one. In, yeah, nose of the ball right on the one. Three minutes to go in the game. Myshenko's strolling back to the huddle. Yeah. Nice and slow. He's not in any hurry. They come out twins right, single wide left. And uh, Bowman, he's not going to get in. He looked like he tried to oh. fight for it, though. Clarkston players yeah. think it's a touchdown. The, well, yeah, they're going to. <laughs> But the officials think otherwise. Yeah, they got him for Joshua. they got him for no gain. Here they go, straight up right the middle. There. Yeah, hit by his own offensive lineman. Yes, it looked like he tried to lunge over the goal line, but I don't know if he got there. No, he didn't. Yeah, that ball is just a little short when the about that pile kind of dissolves a little. The bit. nose of the ball is almost on the white. Yep. But that's the key word, almost. Almost. Not, not quite there yet. Inside two minutes to play. Clarkson's going to take either a timeout or take a delay. Yep. They called timeout with a minute 41 to go. And they're going to be very content to run one more play. So for the Dragons, by no means was this a disappointing season. The Dragons played excellent defense. They had great senior leadership this year. And... These young guys that were brought up and the, the juniors that have been on the squad all year, I hope they learned an awful lot yep. this and week. And those guys, at least like the juniors that were on varsity the whole year, they have made a difference. Like Jaden Barrero, yes, the running back, he's a junior. He's made a difference all year. I think you will have – I am I am going to say now I think – uh, Anderson Adams is going to be your quarterback next year. I think they might have a two QB system. Here comes Clarkston up. Sneaks it. In. 
And they haven't called a touchdown yet. There it is. There it is. One yard run <coughs> by Washenko. And a minute 33 to go. That's essentially your ball game. Pretty much. Three possession game, minute and a half. Doesn't look like it's happening for Lake Oregon. And we just got word that Rochester Adams has defeated Stony Creek 44 to 14. And they're going to host they what will. looks like Clarkston next week. Yeah, it does look like Clarkston. The extra point is good. 133 to go. It's now Clarkston 34, Lake Orion 16. And you're right, Aiden. Rochester Adams will host Clarkston next Friday night in the regional final. We have not heard how Oxford has fared. They were playing Davison, and the winner of that game will play, I believe, Grand Blank. Yep, at Grand Blank. Yep, at Grand Blank. So 133 to go. Dragon sent Dom Diego Hawkins back deep along with Vasquez. Pacmara and Brody Thompson are your up backs. You can see the flashlights of the Clarkson and student section in the top left corner of your we screen. We don't talk about that. <laughs> And Aiden O'Neill had a remarkable recovery. He's out there, and he's jumping up and down. He's feeling pretty good now. Tees the ball up on the 40. So O'Neill... Has it teed up, We're closing in on 10 seconds on the play clock. High end over end kick into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 20, where Lake Orion will take over first and 10. Yeah, that leg looks like it's doing just fine. He got a lot of juice behind He's, that one. Yeah, he looked pretty healthy there. First and 10 drag. So, TR, <coughs> still at quarterback. Barrero's a running back. Jamari Cooper, wide receiver, split out to the left. England, split right. TR, looks, throws, got Vasquez. Hauls a defender with him out to the 28-yard line. It'll be second down. Dragons have one timeout left. Clarkston has two. It's second down and two. TR back, looks, throws, incomplete. Intended for Vasquez, and Griffin Bowman was hung over him like a cheap suit. <laughs> yeah, he was all over that for sure. So third down and two, 58.6 seconds left. Twins left, single wide right. On third down, TR, Jamari Cooper let it go through his hands. And it's not all that. He turned late, and the ball was in the air, and he just didn't pick it up. Yeah, that was just an anticipation route. Yeah. TR was anticipating him to 
hitch a little bit sooner. That definitely did not happen on that play. It was a little bit of a miscommunication, a missed assignment by Cooper. So fourth and two, twins left, single wide right. TR back, looks, throws, caught. Harbin over the 40. Did he get out of bounds? He did. 48.1 seconds left. The ball's up to the 44-yard line of Clarkston. And we got a wolf down. It's number seven. Yeah. Jack number Kopsch. Jack Kopsch is down. Ball will be marked on the 44 of Lake Orion, first and 10. And they help Cops to his feet, and play will resume. And while we're talking, you know, there's a, a few people on this team, T.R. Hill, three-year starter. You cannot underestimate the impact he had on this Dragon football program. Now, yep. Jackson Vasquez, uh, Jamari Cooper came on late last year. So first and 10 from the 44, TR's back, looking, letting it go, and overthrows everybody. Intended for Jamari Cooper, and he was well covered by three wolves. Man, there was everybody back there. Everybody was just kind of anticipating that yeah. deep post in the middle of the field. Yeah. Cooper had no chance. And you know, we're talking about you know the 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 defensive line, Brandon Nupchuk. What a force he has been he, for this Dragon defense. He has been a relentless yeah. pass rusher all year. He's gotten sack after sack after sack and pressure after pressure every single game. He's just been a force to be reckoned with all season. Trey Pakmara, three-year starter. Trips right. TR back, looking, throwing. Got Vasquez into Clarkston territory at the 35. 36.5 seconds left. Jacob Escobedo. He's been a, he's, he's been a big part of that O line yeah. on the left side. Throwing, caught, Vasquez again, same play, brought down by the same Clarkston Wolves. Down at the 17 yard line. And Lake Orion's going to take their last time out with 20.6 seconds to go couple other linemen to talk about for these Dragons, some of the seniors. Number 74, Brennan Eliason, and number 54, Landon Morris. They have yeah. been they have been basically cornerstones on this offensive line. They were both starters on the O-line last year as juniors. They've, just, they've only gotten better as seniors. They're, they're going to be missed after this yeah. season. And sure. they get back, both their running backs. Yep. Ryan Rochelot, who has been a force this year, will be back. So there is hope for this Dragon team for 2025. They are only going to be running behind two offensive linemen, though, the two returning offensive linemen. Number 50, your center, Braden Blackstock, and number 55, a guard, Jack Stiller, yeah. both juniors. So they'll get to run behind them again next year. But otherwise, it's completely new guys. Yep. So first and 10, TR back, looking, throwing, tipped and incomplete, intended for Vasquez. And he's a little delicate coming off the field. 15.1 seconds to go. But Jackie's not coming out. I was going to say, even if he's a little dinged he's up. He's staying in there. It's his senior year. It's his last game of That's his career. Right. He's not coming off the field for anything. So 
15.1 seconds left, trips left. TR back, looks, throws, got Jamari. Tries to split a defender, get down Jamari, you're using up time. 6.7 seconds left. Did they have the first down? The line judge is standing at the seven. And they spike it. And it's third down and the clock is running The clock's forward. running up. The game is over. The Clarkston Wolves have come into Dragon Stadium and beat the Lake Orion Dragons 35 to 16. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Dragon football on the NFHS streaming service and in cooperation with Orion Neighborhood Television. We'll be right back. From the booth, after a 35 to 16 victory by the Clarkston Wolves over the Lake Orion Dragons and Aiden, it was a good win on both sides of the football by Clarkston because they ran at will and their defensive line never gave the Dragons a chance to get get their offense opened up. Yeah, the main thing for this game was win the battle in the trenches, and Clarkston certainly won the battle in the trenches on offense and on defense. The Bowman twins were running wild. Griffin Bowman had, what, three rushing touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns. He was going nuts this game. Lucas Bowman added quite a few rushing yards. Alex Wyshenko was a weapon on the ground. And then their defense, man, their front, their defensive line, their front seven, they just didn't allow Lake Orion to get anything going on the ground. Yeah. And for the Dragons, the, they end up overall 6-4 and four this year. Uh, but we were talking earlier, it's by no means a, a disappointment. Some of their, their wins were exciting. You know, they were an exciting team to watch this year. And you know, we talked, yes, they're going to lose a lot in graduation, but there's a lot to look forward to with this team. So, to end up the 2024 season, the Dragons, as we said, finished 6-4. and four. And for our crew this year, Joey Tysick down in the truck, you've been a rock. Uh, Joe Johnson couldn't be with us tonight, but he was just rock solid on the sideline. For my broadcast partners this year, Kevin McCormick Jr., Chris Fritching, as usual, again, a rock in the booth. Aiden, you did a great job tonight. Thank you. And so until next season, thank you so much for watching Dragon Football. I'm Doug Corliss. Good night, everyone. <laughs>